Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance, everybody. Once again, I am going out to eat. Now, you may be wondering, why does Strongman always eat lunch? It's cost so much money. Well, Daddy's income's been doing pretty good this year with all my side griffs, and I like to enjoy myself. Plus, I forgot some uh, lunch meat. I need to buy lunch meat so I can make a sandwich in my office, which a woman should do! <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, we gotta talk about these grifters, okay, and how I cannot compete with these guys. I don't stand a mother effing chance against these clowns. Now, I've been on YouTube for three years, been talking trash about these clowns. I've been calling out all their clown stocks. And whenever their clown stocks go to zero or crash massively, I don't get any credit. I never get, I never get credit for anything. All the clown stocks that I said to avoid, dozens and dozens and dozens, hundreds probably, they all went down, they all crashed. Nobody said a peep. Oh, no, oh, strong man, you were, you were right in so many things. But let's only talk about, you know, a couple things that you were wrong on. I know how YouTube works, but that's not the problem, okay? You know what the real problem is with these grifting, stinky, nasty, muddy, grubbing, lying scum? Is the fact that my returns are public information. Do you know what my total returns are? I mean, I'm sure maybe there's a variance of a couple, one or two percent total over my investing lifetime. But you know what my total returns are? Pull up the chart of VT and then see VT's returns since 2012, okay? Obviously, I've been dollar cost averaging and the shares that I bought recently obviously haven't gone up a hundred and something percent. And then go Google total return VT and you will see what my investment returns are. 98% of my portfolio, 98% of my portfolio is in the Vanguard Total World Stock Market Index. And you can check my returns. They are public information. I've even made videos showing my returns, okay? It's VT, shocking. So, how does this put me at a massive disadvantage? Well, imagine you're comparing two people, right? Uh, their, their stock market returns. There's one guy that puts all his statements out there. It, it can be perfectly audited. All the evidence is publicly available. You can see that guy's returns. And he can't hide anything. I, what am I hiding? I haven't hid anything. <laughs> so that's one guy. The other guy, the clown, never shows his returns. He's constantly buying and selling and moving money here and moving money there. And maybe he's got an Excel sheet or maybe he doesn't show anything. He just talks about stocks and he claims that he crushes the market. And when he does show you information, you only see the good information, okay? Look at Jeremy. He sells all his clown stocks. He's got tons of clown stocks in his private portfolio that he never shows people. <laughs> and he sells all his bad stocks and he only shows the stocks that went up 2,000%. But funny enough, I was buying those same stocks in VT. And if I could selectively show only the best performing stocks in VT, I would be just as much as a genius, but whatever, okay? So who has the advantage in uh, trying to prove their point? The guy who can be publicly audited. Everything's transparent. You can see what his returns were versus the guy that can selectively show you what he wants you to see. Who has the advantage? Of course, the grifter has the advantage because they could just point to VT and say, Oh, look, see? It did not hit it. Did it hit it? Bought it? That's my answer. They can do that. They can laugh at VT, but they can only show you their stocks that did well. So when the average dope on YouTube, <laughs> when they watch these people, they look at Strongman, they say, okay, you know, he bought VT, you know, US stock, bro. US stock, bro. He didn't buy only US stock, bro. VT didn't go as up as much as VTI. And even though these clowns don't own VTI's 98% of their portfolio and therefore did not get the returns of VTI, they still make fun of VT. But those are my returns. That is what I got. That is a fact, 
okay? Prove me wrong. He doesn't have VT. He actually has a 100% Tesla. Oh, he's lying. He's a scammer. He's a CPA that does taxes. You can't trust him. But the grifting clowns can show you whatever they want. So they'll show you one stock. Like Metal Metal went up a lot. Or uh, Palantir went up a lot. All these clowns can show you exactly what they want you to see. And of course, you morons buy it. Because you people don't understand the, the dirty roots of the finance industry. The dirty, disgusting roots that underpin this entire freaking industry. It is one of the most disgusting industries I have ever seen because it is all based on deception. You can publicly audit like a mutual fund, right? You can maybe audit a hedge fund, but you cannot audit. You cannot verify. You cannot confirm the returns of these grifters. And because of that, they are almost unkillable. They are undefeatable because they can just selectively show you what they want you to see and they can mock people that have public portfolios. I mean, even me, Kevin now has a public portfolio and I actually respect that kind. Well, it's not his whole portfolio, obviously. He's probably got a bunch of garbage stuff that doesn't show you, but he's got his old PP, my, my PP, PP, my PP, good rhyme. PP, my PP ETF. Kevin is now able to be publicly traced with his returns. And I give him props for that, okay? He can't really hide his losses. He was able to do that during the clown market. We don't really know what happened. <laughs> but uh, at least now he's got the PP ETF. I got, I got VT my ET, he's got PP my poopy fart face. <laughs> so just be aware out there that despite all the hate of VT, if you buy it and hold it, you will get those returns. Well, maybe not in the future, we'll see. But the, the public information that is out there for VT puts me at a massive disadvantage when I'm trying to show you that maybe you shouldn't put all your money in clown stocks. Maybe these grifters are actually incompetent clowns that have underperformed VT massively. Because every time there is a public audit, I always seem to win. It's crazy. Remember the Jeremy versus VT stock tracker? Who won that competition? <laughs> Jeremy made the mistake of publicly showing his investing results. And I don't think he's gonna do that again. I think he learned his lesson because if he shows, if he has a public record of his returns that he can't hide by transferring shares or selling or whatever he freaking does, he's gonna be exposed for the fraud he is. And of course, he freaking deletes the tracker from his videos, okay? It's still in his old videos, but he first had his tracker then he changed the name of it to remove his name from it. And now it's gone completely. Isn't that mother effing crazy? Bye, VT. Woo!